this meeting? Uh, all right, here we go. So welcome to our pixel art image reveal workshop. Um, I'm Nicole Fantasia, one of the music teachers over at MKG. And we have um, Vicki, one of the math teachers over at the high school, and we're going to work about, uh, learn about pixel arts today. Um, so today you're going to get to experience it as point of view from a student and then get experience making your own. So a little bit of background about pixel arts. Um, they started in the early days about uh, video games, lots of Mario and Pac-Man. They're basically little uh, squares that create pictures. Okay, so we have um, a selection here, and I know that we have at least one math teacher on the call besides myself, and at least one music teacher on the call. So we have options for you to try. Um, the pixel art activity, the way it works, is you answer questions, and as you answer questions, the image will start appearing if your answers are right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, one that is translating English words to Spanish. Can you click on that one, Nicole? Yeah. And just show Kristen and others how, how this works. So sure. it's going to ask you to make a copy. Yep. And then what happens is you end up with this Google Sheet that looks totally blank. And there's questions, and then there's a place where you're going to put answers. So the English word is one, the Spanish word is uno. And if you're right, image pixels or little squares are going to appear, which are part of a picture. When we click out of that cell into a new one, if that was correct, we'd get something. It says working. Everything's spinning, maybe because of the Google Meet. It's just not instant. Yeah, it's just not instant right now. There it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, now, dose. Tres. Cuatro, etc. And so when you're done and, and you've answered all of the questions, you'll know you're right if um, there's a picture that seems to make sense. So what we'd like to invite you to do is to grab any one of those um, titles. And we're going to just, just set a five-minute timer. And if you're done early, you can come on back. But, um, but otherwise, you have the five minutes to explore, OK? Questions? I'll put the um, link in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> and so that particular presentation, if you go to slide number five, you'll find that. So the timer is set. And then Kristen, if you want to just type into the chat or let us know um, which one are you going to try? You've got a, options. Oh, OK. Um, actually, I can talk. Oh, no. <laughs> um, solving equations. Thanksgiving. Shut this off. So, Kristen, while you're working, we might just show this, um, but don't feel obligated to look at what we're doing. You just go ahead and have a good time exploring it, okay? Where are the slides, guys? Oh, did, did I not share it with you? No. Oh, sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've done these before. I usually buy them, though, already made.
destroyed. Super slow loading, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, really slow. Oh, it's because we're Yeah, because I... I... Yeah, still not there. That's okay. It just doesn't want to behave. It's not doing that. Sorry. So I think what we can do is um, just kind of stop that timer uh, Nicole and Kristen, and we can do this part live. We can just show Kristen, um, but you're familiar with the pixel art. Would you like us to? Yeah, because I know. Yeah, I've I save. Yeah, I save them for my kids, um, but I usually buy them. Yeah, oh, already made. All right. So, so, so the fun thing is, it's we can make our own, and I think that's where we're heading. Yeah, I, yeah. Do you want to go there yeah, that's first? What I know how to do yeah. All right. So all great. Right, well, let's, let's we'll go there then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So they're gonna. She's gonna need this Google Sheet too. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put in the chat the link that will bring you here in a moment. But I will show you how to start making them. I can do that part. Um, okay. All right. So I try to find my images already pre-made and online. I am not artistically savvy. Um, I found this website to be very helpful. Um, and if you search, you can search for all sorts of things. I go uh, Disney, I go animal seasons, whatever, including my mind. So in the designs, I for this one, I'm gonna do an animal. So I'll search for animals. That's what I searched for. And there's lots of them to choose from. I'm gonna go with the spring little duck. And then once you click on it, if you click on it again, it just enlarges the photo for you to see. So then what I do in the Google Sheets, I'm gonna do one duck, okay. is I will basically copy this image and making each little square here, like Legos, a different square on my okay. Excel sheet. Um, so I usually start up the top and then I need three up front. One, two, three. Um, I try to do the outlines first. I do the yellow, and then I can see I'm going to need an orange square for his nose. Uh, so I take the paint pan, turn it orange. He needs an eye. So, okay, so you're going to put that in um, a brick at a time, right? Yeah. Um, and then, like, once you have, a, like, the row going, like, as you can see, after, underneath the head, I have a row of yellow. So I can just highlight the entire row find my yellow and use the yellow. Same yellow. So, there we go. And then I have another entire row of yellow. Those are three rows of yellow actually. So even, even you can highlight the entire row and drag it down. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And I need some water. We'll add the glue. underneath it and put some more so along there. copy it. Right, you can copy the bricks. Mm. I, I personally like the click and drag method. Okay. Um, so. Shades of blue. There's kind of like a simple Thank image you. to do. You can do all sorts of images, um, but sometimes simpler is better. Um, so you want to have fun trying to make your own image for a little bit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So Vicky put in the chat the uh, spreadsheet. Okay. I did. Have, Let's uh, talk about how it's, yeah, go ahead and show Kristen how to rename that sheet that's yeah. yours. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted to yeah. do. I was like, okay, so that'll be my model I'm using. Right. Ceiling. So on the bottom, we have all sorts of different sizes. We have the smaller ones leading all the way. If you keep scrolling through, um, we have 12 by 12s. 15 by 15s, 20 by 20s, and there's some already in there. But if you want to rename it, um, right click and just rename, and I'll put my name there. And, that, and then you can use 
you can create a new one. So Kristen, are you the kind of person who likes to see things from your mind and you can just make your own design or do you like to have something to look at kind of like the way Nicole showed us? I like the way Nicole showed us. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Especially at the end of the day, I'm like, really, Oh, I, I get it. So listen, I put that website in the chat too. So you can copy and paste that onto a window. And yeah, that's um, oh, yeah. 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 So I think we yeah. were going to give some time. Let's look here. Where are we? Yeah. So we were going to give a 12-minute block of time for you to um, – to try to make one of your own here. Gotcha. Yeah, and if and you like in the search text for the designs, you can put anything you want. Springs, animals, your, your choice. Yeah, and I'll, I wouldn't choose like something really <laughs> complicated like that, the robot. Yeah, not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I gotcha. Pull this out. But. That's super cool. All right, so so I should experiment. Experiment for a little bit. Yeah. Manipulative. I shall do that right now. All right. So I got my sheet. I always talk to myself too, especially <laughs> when it's technology. So I should mute myself because you might hear some bad language. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she said this was easy. No. I'll just mute myself. Um, here.
So it's telling me the sheet cannot be empty. It's not letting me put, it's not letting me put anything in because it's, I think it's a connection. That's weird. Dinky thing. Because you just went to, let me just double check. I'll, I'll get back on the phone. Um, Kristen, I see you're on the sheet. You're on the Google sheet with us. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we shared it so that anybody with the link can edit. Yep. So you should be able yeah, to. I took, I took one and I, I took one and I changed it at the bottom. Okay, great. Let's see if we can find it. And Nicole will find your, your little um, thing there. Yeah. Yeah. I changed it to, it was like 10 by 10. Okay. Beginning one. Yep. Yeah. It was, yeah. Is it that one? This one? I think it's this one. But I was trying to, I was just going to do my it, name. Turn that corner and maybe we'll see if that's the one that um, Kristen was on. <clears throat> you can see who's on there in that corner cell, the blue cell, A1. Oh. That's me. No, she's not there. Okay. Oh, oh there you go. I found you. Okay, good. There you go. Okay. Yeah, and the colors weren't going in. Yeah, like so I what? Said, I yeah. think it's a connection thing. So I'm gonna try to do it on my computer rather than the the box, and I'll just do the meat on here. Yeah. So okay. um, Nicole, show show Kristen how when you um click on a cell, then what we do next is we highlight it, we fill it, and we look for the pink bucket. Right. But uh, yeah, pick a different cell. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, so, so I was clicking the yeah, I was clicking the cells. Yeah. Yep. And then if you fill it with whatever color that you, you want, want another gray. Uh-huh. I mean the other option you can do if the paint cans aren't working, you can click the little blue square at the bottom and drag it down and it will also um Yeah, how come the, the colors, colors aren't going in, guys? What I color did you want? <clears throat> I was just doing red. Yeah, sure. We'll show you red. Yep. Oh, okay. Like right there, Red? Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah, I, was like, <laughs> I was thinking that it was on a delay and all of a sudden it was just going to show up. I was like. I, yeah, that's weird. I mean, are. I don't know. But again, like I said, it's it's a connection issue. And yeah. It's a connection you could, issue. If you click on that cell and you do um, control C, the red cell, mm -hmm. then you can click on other cells and do control V and paste it down in different there. spots. Right. All right, try click because I see you're still in that. Try clicking in the red box. See if I can see you moving. Okay, oh, so just a connection. Just thing. run that back. Come, come. Okay. So. Okay. Try it again. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I made two lunch together. It's so creative. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, this is cool. I'll be able to. Okay, I should be okay now. Because let me see. Like I said, I just have a, a terrible little thing here.
got a message that said my mouse battery was really low and I, I've not had that message before and I don't know how to deal with it. So I hope I don't lose power and stuff. So you get, oh, there you go, Kristen, you're getting the hang of it. I'm rocking. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> nice. All right, looking good. So so part of the fun is making the image, right? That's fun. Are you making a little dog or what is this? Yeah, I was yeah, I was yeah, I was making a dog. Oh, I muted myself, so hold up. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mute myself. Yeah, no, I was making good. a dog. Thank you All for right. saying it was a dog and recognizing <laughs> I that. could tell. Yes. Yeah, so what um what we what we want to do is um once we have our picture, then it's a matter of and I know you're a math teacher, a middle school math teacher. So you want to think about what content you could use this with. And so for me, I'm also, as you know, a high school math teacher. I like to use this with problems that I want kids to get a lot of practice with that are kind of recall routine questions, not overly complex. Um, and it could be something like solving a simple equation. It could be um, extending patterns in a sequence, right? So we the steps that we do um, to make our own um, pixel art activity is we make the design first. And then you'll notice on the sheet that you're on, Kristen, in column A, there is numbers. And in column B is where you write your question. And in column C is where you write your answer. So you do all that once you make your design, okay? So we're going to give you a copy of this um, sl slideshow. You have it. So, so that, the, all those steps will be there. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we would take a creative design mm -hmm. and format it so that the magic happens, so that when the kids write the correct answer in, the image appears. All right, awesome. Okay, cool. So, Nicole, if you don't mind, um, if you could go to our, should I take over the screen share? Now I'm worried with my mouse. I'm just so worried that something is gonna happen. Sure, we can, if, if you get, if you lose the connection. All right, then you take it back right. over for me. Okay, Thank sounds you. great. So I'm gonna go ahead and present and I'll show you this, Kristen. Okay. All right. So, so we are here, and the directions that we need look kind of complicated. I do have I a. That. <laughs> I thought I saw a lot of symbols. I know it could be daunting. It could be off-putting, but it's really one formula that we have to learn, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to go to our live demonstration now. That link I just put in there is a is a YouTube video where I explain how to do this, so you can go back and watch it. Okay, um, but what I'm going to do is go to my sheet that has my name on it here somewhere. Vicky, here it is, and it's the butterfly, and I put my questions in here, and I put my answer. And I happen to have seven questions. And at the end of that, this butterfly will appear. And the formula that you need, I'm going to copy and paste this into the chat just so that we can talk about it and you can see it. Um, this is what we do, Kristen. I'm going to decide which cells I want to appear first. Because as you know, when you're a student, at first, everything is blank, right? It's all blank. So um, so maybe I want this cell, this part of this black wing here, and I'm going to do command, shift, left click. Now, I'm on a Mac, and that's why I'm doing command, shift. But if you're on a PC, you might do control, shift. And I don't want to give it away what this picture is, but I just want to give them a little hint of what it could be. So I have highlighted those random cells, absolutely random. And what I'm going to do is right now, where it says format, condition, conditional formatting, and over here, this dialog box pops up, this window. And I'm going to go 
format cells if and bring it all the way down to the bottom. And this was the hardest part of the whole thing, but this one step you're going to repeat over and over again. So custom formula is. And this is where I type into this area the um, formula that I have shown here. I'm going to do equals dollar sign C dollar sign 2, and I'll explain why C2. Because Boston is in column C, row two, you see it? Mm -hmm. So if what's in C2 is anything except, so I do less than, greater than, Boston, because it's a word, it's going to be in quotes. So I'm telling the computer, if when the kid types in anything except Boston, I want this to be white. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill with white. And I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to show you that, of course, the student doesn't get the answer there. But when they type in Boston, and you click out of the cell, those pictures come up. So as I'm making my activity, I now leave that blank, and I go on to the next. So you see this is column C, row 3. So once again, I'm going to click on cells that I would like to appear, and I'm going to do it kind of as fast as I can, um, just for the sake of demonstration. So I'm just highlighting some of these, scrolling over. Usually I like to do it completely random, but just for the sake of the demonstration, I'll do it this way. Okay, so let's say that that's all I want, and maybe one antenna. <laughs> all right, so okay, I'm going to so go. You're doing, so you're doing like pieces of of the picture i've seen like where it's just been the color where you've gotten like you know you know what i'm saying like all the reds will fill in yeah like yes the ones yeah that yeah so okay. i'm i'm highlighting now the pieces that are remaining i'm leaving the white ones blank and i'm just going control click control click control click and now i have to go ahead and do my format my conditional formatting and over here i pull this all the way down to custom formula is equals and remember it's um dollar sign c c dollar sign three so if the answer in this oh, cell, yeah, it would be then it would change to three got it yeah is anything except eight and because eight's a number i don't need quotes so if this is anything except eight i want it to fill with white so i'm filling with white and at that point i hit done and to see if I did this right, I'm just going to delete this and see if all those colors that I just highlighted go away. And they do. And so I just continue this way. I, I realize I want to get more in there. And you keep, and it's again, in my Mac, it's command, but on your PC, it's control, click. It's and I'm control just, shift. Click, left click. Yeah. You're going to do control, left click. Oh, left click. Yep. And so what's happening is it's hard, probably hard for you to see, but it's easier for me to see. All of these that I'm highlighting, they have this little blue outline. I don't know if that's coming through on your end or not, but they have this little blue outline. And once I think I've done enough, I'm going to say that's enough. And then I go up here again and I do format, um, conditional formatting, all the way down to the bottom. And again, it's always equals dollar sign C dollar sign. And I always have to look. Now I'm on C4. So if the value in C4 is anything except the word blue needs to be in quotes, then I want those cells to fill with white. That's what the less than or equal to means. It's if the value in this cell is anything except the answer of blue, the kid doesn't get any pictures. But if it's blue, the kid gets the original pictures that I wanted. So it, it feels kind of mysterious. It almost feels rather daunting. But if all we have is that one formula, I think it's manageable. And um, I've right. had a lot, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with it. So while I'm dealing with mine, you can absolutely try yours, um, Kristen. Okay. Or you can like you can hop on, you can you can just keep watching and making sure this all makes sense. Yeah, and I like I said, I was going to try it on my computer um, after. Yeah. Yeah. So once again, I I typically click randomly, but just for the sake of being quick, I was like, kind of clicking a lot of them. 
Um, okay, so then I'm gonna go format, conditional formatting, pull this all the way down, equals, and it's always dollar sign C because that's where my answer is, dollar sign five in this case. So equals dollar sign C, dollar sign five. If it's anything except down, then I want that to fill in white. And to make sure I did that right, I always delete this and then those cells go away. And that tells me what else I have left to do. So I just have a bunch of things here left. And you want to make sure you're not clicking any white cells. I'm clicking on these colored cells. And I'm once again just going kind of at a pace that is helping us to get through it. And then we go um, same thing, always format. It's condi format, conditional formatting, right? That's yep. it. You got it. You got it. And then you always have to start here with equals, dollar mm -hmm. sign C, dollar sign. In this case, it's the number six because it's row six. If this gotcha. is anything except the word C, C for yes, then I want to fill this with white. And then I always have to hit done. And if something went wrong and when I clicked out of there, it didn't work, I would just command Z or control Z to undo what I had just tried. Because every once in a while you do all this and you're like, oh no, and something goes wrong. And But just know that you can control Z to undo whatever the mistake was. But oh, so, far, okay. so far we're doing okay. Right. I, I have done this way a lot easier than doing it by color. I used to do it all by the colors, and it was a lot more work. Oh, was it? Because remember, I was just saying because yeah. the ones that I, I buy pre-made are by color. Color, yeah. That it's a lot more challenging. <laughs> this is a lot easier. Yep. So I'm almost done. So I'm going to go um, conditional formatting, and then I always have to go down to the bottom, and then put your cursor there and do equals dollar sign c dollar sign i'm looking at row seven now is anything except the word nine which means no in german i want to fill with white and then you'll see i have very few cells left but all of these cells have to be colored now because i got no more questions right right so you just click on them all and then that is what you have you do you, you use google classroom right Kristen, at the middle school yeah yeah so this, every kid gets their own copy. They love to do it because they know they're getting it right mm -hmm. uh, by the picture, as you know. Um, and as a teacher, it's so easy to correct, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. That's, I mean, it can't be any easier. Pictures there, they got it. <laughs> yep. So here we go. If it's anything except, and because this is a number, I just need the number four. Now there's a way to do fractions, Kristen, because I know what are you sixth grade, right? Um, but I can't remember how to do fractions. You just looked that up. So something wrong, something just went wrong. Something definitely just went wrong. Um, I wasn't thinking. And so let me do this again. Control Z, right? Yep, I did control Z to get that back. Yeah, yeah, something just went wrong because that should not have happened. So um, I'm gonna maybe add a rule or maybe change this rule. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it. If this, nope, that one's all set. Mm. I want to no, rule. I know, oh, go back to that one. You don't have yeah, a. This one. What? What? Do you have a, a answer there in that one? No, I just have to put in the custom formula again because um, right. because I command, I control Z it. Um, that's what happens when you try to talk and think at the same time. Yeah, that's why I'm just listening because I can't do it at the same time. I just have to like take it all exactly. in, put the notes down. All right, I think this is gonna work now. Ah, I think this is gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, in the end, you saw me make a mistake. So you got to see what happens when you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. So then the capital of Mass is Boston, and this is what the kid gets, and they go, "Oh, I got the capital of Massachusetts right. Is eighteen minus ten? I think it's nine. Oops." Must not be nine, it's eight. Right, see, red, white, and blue, there it is. <laughs> what if I spelled it wrong? Doesn't do it, what if I capitalized it? That's okay, it takes a capital down. Yep. C is Spanish for yes, nine is German for no, and the absolute value of negative five plus one is negative four, which is four. Ah, 
done. <laughs> so I can stop sharing my, <laughs> I can stop sharing unless you have a question, um, Kristen. That's a pretty intricate picture you got going there. <laughs> Kristen, I have to be honest. When I can't, that one of the stu one of the new teachers at the middle school kind of kind of turned me on to this whole concept. Oh, and Cammy, I right? oh, over Cammy? February, yeah, Cammy, and over February vacation, I was hunting around for pictures that are pretty. And this was one of them. Hey, yeah. let me show you my cat though. This it's is seriously oh, you gotta show our Merida then too. Okay, oh, this is wow. the love of my life. This is my cat beauty. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, thanks. My husband helped me with that one. And 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 this is um this is Merida. Brave. Who's Merida? <laughs> 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 Isn't that cute? Right? Yeah, yeah, so, we, really can tell. So, so Kristen, those are all there too, kind of ready made for you. If you like any of those pictures, feel yeah. free to grab them, you know. Um, I am going to stop sharing though, Nicole, so that you can kind of wrap up with, um, whatever questions Kristen has or whatever thoughts you were thinking about sharing. Yeah. Do you have any questions, Kristen? Or, uh, no, I'm going to just like, like just jump on and try it myself. Okay. Can you share with us when you make something? I can't wait to see it. I'm serious. I about that. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I mean, even though pixel art is like two to three dollars and it's just two to three dollars I could save when I do it you know yeah I um, I'm gonna put in there there's I find the answer key with the kids and they were like we did it we all made a flag I'm like my goodness yeah. you guys um, well, there's I really get this and then they're like you gave us the answer key Jeez Louise so <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to put in, there's a couple of good Facebook groups out there too that have pixel art images. Um, oh, I've okay. taken a lot of pictures from these groups and just changed the, the, the formatting problem. and the questions. Mm -hmm. um, so it saves me time on making a new picture. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Why can't they, why just come up my back to That's so funny that you did like those beautiful pictures, Vicky. My <laughs> I'm kind of strange like that. I but but hey, apparently I'm not the only one, right, Nicole? You're not the only one, but I don't know why I can't copy anything. You're on a budding artist. Like... Yeah. Okay, ladies, I'm gonna hit the road. But thank hey, you. Hey, it was so nice. Much. It was nice to with you. There's your Facebook group. Shine, sign, Kristen. But yeah, I can't. I can't wait. I'll probably get a lot of freebies. Of dogs and robots in the beginning, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Good. flags. Have fun. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to um, share them out. All right. No wait. Bye. 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 Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Thanks.